Matthew, uh, come to catch up with you because you're out again so quickly. Um, last time out was at the uh, Doncaster Dome where you made your, your debut. Gave us a little scare in the uh, second round, hmm. but uh, you managed to pull it round and uh, ended up winning comfortably against the very tough, I can't pronounce his surname, but uh, Ronaldo, he's fought on our shows loads of times. Uh, little hard man. Yeah. He is, isn't he? Yeah. But how did you find it? Was it, uh, was it all you expected as a as a debutant? Was it what it lived up to? Yeah, it's been a while since I boxed, so it's nice to get, you know, it's different to sparring and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. The atmosphere. The, well, that's really a, a great atmosphere. I mean, yeah. uh, you, you must be a popular kid because the, the noise that you came out to was uh, tremendous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it must be nice, that isn't it, to do in front of your family, and now now you're treating them to a little away trip uh, up yeah, in, uh, all in Hull. Yeah, it's week Saturday, so... I think you've yeah. got a loot flash, have you? Uh, no, I think the opponent's changed, Jimmy said. Oh, is it? Oh, right. right. Well, that's no. who I had down on my It was list. him, but I think it's changed now, so... Right. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's, no. uh, it's just getting you out there, keeping you busy, yeah. and getting the ball moving, isn't it? Um, yeah. And uh, nice to be as busy as that because yeah. and was it? it was only what maybe six weeks was it? Yeah, six seven weeks ago. By the yeah. time you stepped through twenty fifth February. So yeah, it was the first show of the season, season. for the IP, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, first time at Doncaster Dome, and uh, hopefully we're going back there is later it, on in the year, aren't we? Uh, July maybe is it? Yeah. Or June. Or I'm, I'm not sure of date. I think it's July. Uh, Jimmy was saying to us, I've not got I've not got the list, um, but uh, looking forward to it. But. Was it everything you expected though, that's what I'm saying, because the debut is it's a special thing isn't it, it's a, a yeah. one-off and you had everything that you could want in a fight like that, you know, you had that little bit of adversity where you got caught square on, uh, you went on your ass, uh, you bounced back up and then took control of the fight. Yep, so on. one out way, learn for the next one isn't it? Yeah, well it's, it's like I say, it's, uh, it's all about it's learning. more balance that was all I think, but <laughs> it's square is it? It, it? Do you feel different though now, now, you're, now you've had that one? You know, uh, you had a long break from yeah. your, your, your amateur career to your, your making your pro debut. Now you've been in the gym, you know, you, it seems like you were in within a few days of having that fight. Yeah. So, do you feel different when, when Jimmy's telling you things? Does it all fall into place a little bit clearer now than, than it did before you, uh, you made your debut? Yeah, I'm getting better in life as the more training I'm doing and just keep learning and listening. Of, yeah. of other people really. More yeah. experienced black people you're gonna gain little And well this this place is gaining uh, quite a few new fighters yeah. as well because uh when I first came down there I think it was just the four of you uh training here. Now it seems like uh, it was a whole gym full of people. Mm -hmm. Well that must be good for you because it's it's yeah. a tough, tough sport to do on your own, isn't it? Yeah, it's good atmosphere in here, all lads all gelling together and yeah. Uh, Jimmy took me down Tyson's last couple of weeks. Oh, that so must be a bit of a year, isn't it? Yeah. Because you, you know, to train alongside the, the heavyweight champion of the world, it's uh, yeah. uh, not many people get to do that, do they? No, it's good, isn't it? Like. <laughs> <laughs> it is, though, isn't it? It's you know? memories for life, isn't it? So well, yeah, it's good listen, for Jimmy to do that. You can dine on that for the rest of your life. Yeah. Because you know, he's going to go down as a great. You know, there's no two ways about it. Yeah. When you talk about Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, uh, George Foreman, you know, uh, Mike Tyson, you know, Tyson Fury's name's in, in the mix with all them lot. Yeah. So, you know, there's few people who get to be able to call him a friend and I believe that's what you can now. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's a good friend, isn't he? But yeah. He uh, was nice to us and welcomed us and stuff, so yeah. it was uh, nice to feel welcomed in Jim. Yeah, well, like I say, it is, it is a special uh, to be able to be uh, a little bit part of his journey and uh, I presume he gives you loads of support and loads of advice. Yeah, that's it. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing you on April the 15th in Hull, yeah. where hopefully we sat there talking to you after the fight and saying win number two. Yeah. Bye. Thanks a lot. You take care, kiddo. Cheers. <laughs> For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.